All right, first off, let me say all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh. Bashem Yashai, Bashem Raka Kodash. The blunders to the apostles of James and all your brothers in the highways and the byways, doing the work of the most and sincerity and in truth. Shalom. All right, this is a brother Awar again with another lesson regarding the Mosai and his son. Because of Christianity again, a hey, most people contradict the Bible with this thing that the Mosai and the son is the same person. They are one person. They are, they are not two persons. There is not a father and there is not a son. Right? They teach that, especially the the... the denomination that is Jesus only they preach or they teach that the most and the son is the same person and according to the scripture that is not so so we're going to go into the scripture to you know prove the truth from the scripture to tear down another lie that is set up by the Christian church and the so-called white man no Hey, we're going to use a scripture that they, they themselves use in these churches to prove that and that give them that belief right so this they, they look past every other scripture in the bible and just use this scripture to say that the Mosai and his son is the same person right so hey let us go into the scriptures all right the first scripture i'm going to is john one and one this is a scripture that they use but another um, misinterpretation because hey, the scripture said we should not lean on our own understanding yet. right so hey, let the scripture explain itself because the scripture do that alright the first scripture is John 1 and 1 in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God right so they are reading this as in the beginning was the word and the word we know the word already that that word is talking about uh, let me use the name that they use which is not the real name jesus christ just for edification purpose right they're saying that the word is jesus christ and the word was with god jesus christ was with god and the word was god and jesus christ was god right no, this is the, the problem that our people have. Our people don't go into words, what they mean. They are words of meaning. No, the word God, the word God is just a title. Right? The word God is just a title. And we're going to go, we're going to go into the, the meaning of the word God later on. Right? But the scripture is supposed to read in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was a god right in the beginning was the word and the word was a power because that is the meaning of the word god it just means power rule our judges the police they are a god in their own sense because the police have ruled over um lesser people right the prime minister of jamaica is a god because the prime minister is head and rule ruler over the country right just like the the the, the time you yeah, the described this the, the scribes and the pharisees wanted to stone you yeah, how because he said he was a god and he said to them is it not written in your law that ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high but ye shall die like men is it not written but them consider the word God to mean the Mosai or hey, the word the, the, the word the name God is just a title yeah well let me put this on airplane mode let me take off though good good right so let us go to um genesis 1 verse 1 all right in genesis 1 verse 1 in the beginning 
God created the heaven and the earth. Now let us go into the meaning of the word God. Alright, the meaning of the word God go back to the Strong's H430. Right? The Hebrew word there for God is Allah Hayam. Now, Allah is singular for God. Right? In Hebrew, when you had Yom at the end of a word, it pluralizes it. Now, the, 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 the Hebrew word here is Halahayim, meaning the rulers, the judges, the divine ones, the angels, gods. So you have many. So the angels are also considered as God. Right? So it was Yahawashai, the money ignorantly called Jesus Christ, and the angels, not the Mosai God, created the heaven created the herb right so in John sorry John 1 verse 1 it said in the beginning was the word which is Yahushai and the word was with the Halahayim are the gods, are the powers, the angels, and the word was also a power, was also a god, was also a judge. Right? Hey, it is that simply all we need to do sometimes is when we read is going to a read. In a sense, we read in a book with, with, with words, a hey, words of meaning. The meaning is not what you think it's supposed to mean. Hey, the words of meaning, yeah. So we should always go into the words of the book when we read them. So we can get the full understanding of the scripture. Right? Hey, let us go into some more scriptures here. Because another another um, fiction that the, the Christian church have is the... The speech that Yahweh Shai made was that I and my father are one. No, if he said that he and his father is one, that doesn't mean they are the same person. It just means they have the same the same mindset, they think of the same, they do the same thing, right? Remember that the, I'll, I'm going to go into the scripture, the scripture should explain itself now. We'll go too deep into that explanation out of my mouth. Just to say I said it. Right, just move on from that. Hope that was confirmed or that was understanding. Right, hope you understand that. All right, from John 1 and 1 and Genesis 1 and 1. Right, the next scripture I'm going to go real quick is same John 14 and 10. He said, Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself. But the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Now, that is how they are one, yeah? They are saying the same thing. The same words. Right? It doesn't mean they are the same person. Not because they use the term... I and my father is one. It doesn't mean that they are the same person. And the scripture will prove that, yeah? Alright. So let me read that again. John 14 verse 10. Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? In the, the words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, or the Father dwelleth dwell in him. Through his words. He do the works. Right? The father dwell in Yahweh Shai through his words, yeah? 
that is how they are one right next scripture is um same john now go too far john 3 verse 34 it said for he whom god had sent speaketh the words of god for god give it not the spirit by measure unto him so him get the full him get the full him get full spirit yeah him get everything everything was downloaded on him him have the full spirit yeah which is the word him of all the words of yahweh bashim of yahweh salakia right him get all the words him get all the power him get everything everything was given unto yahweh shai right everything was given unto him right next scripture is same john 17 and 11 john 17 verse 11 it said no i am no more in the world but these are in the world and i come to thee holy father keep true thine own name those whom thou hast given me that they may be one as we are one no let me read that again he said that they, who are they, the, 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 the disciples, yeah? He said that they, him, Yahweh Shai and the disciples, that they may be one as we are one, as we are. Now, him and his father is one, right? The disciples and Yahweh Shai is one. That means the, the disciples and Yahweh Shai is the same person? No. It just means that the same words Yahweh Shai give to them. Them have it and they are going to speak the same words that Yahweh Shai spoke. And that is simply a, they don't need um common sense, they don't need hey, not even common sense. And even if you have common sense, it must can get that. Whoever watch whoever have a problem, whoever don't believe or whoever don't understand, even if I grew up in a church, I care what them tell you. Not everything you grew up in a church and learn you're supposed to believe it. As the scripture say you have to become a baby to get this knowledge. Yeah? Because now you can't keep the same old stuff you learn in church and expect to get the truth because the, there's no truth in these churches yet. Yeah? Right? Because if they believe that um the Mosai and the Son is the same person, them contradict the entire scriptures. It wouldn't make any sense. Right? Christianity country the entire book. Christianity is where most of our majority of our people don't believe in the Bible. Alright, let me continue. To verse 22. It says, And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one. So the disciples they are going to be one. That, that, that does not mean that um, they are the same person. That does does that mean that um, John and Peter is the same person? The twelve is the same person? No. They must just have said the same thing there on one accord. How simple is that, yeah? Right, it's the I in them and thou in me. No, oh, the our shy is in the disciple. Him show his words. Let me just jump to a quick scripture, real quick, and then we'll come back to that. All right, this is John 15, verse 7. It said, If he abide in me and my words abide in you. He shall ask what he will, and it shall be done unto you. Right? So if you abide in your house, what happened? The words are going to abide in you, yeah? And who is your house? Scripture says in the Hebrew, um, don't remember the scripture exactly. It says, Lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me, or to do thy will, O God. Now, your house is this entire book, yeah? 
is this entire Bible. So how are you going to abide in Yahweh Shai? By going into the scriptures, yeah? And how is he going to abide in you? When time you read it and you understand. Right? Now let me just go back to John 22 and 23. John um, 17 and 22, sorry. It says, And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one. I in them, and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent, sent me, and has loved them as thou hast loved me. Right, and that is clear and straight and to the point. There's no going around that yet. Yeah? Right, we'll just jump up real quick to John 17 and 8. It says, For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. Right, these, these scriptures don't need no form of explanation any at all. Yeah? These scriptures just at home. Right? These scriptures just hit to the point. You don't need no whole heap of talk, no whole heap of explanation. Eh? Right? If you can't get this, then the most I definitely put a block on your mind, eh? blind you, yeah? Right? Hey, sometimes we try to teach some people certain things and we think it's simple. But hey, if the most I put a block on your mind or put a veil over your eye, you never ever get it yet. Eh? No matter how it's simple, just like the scripture that I read. And let me read it again. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them. And have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. Right? So it's all about the word here. Yeah? That's how Yahweh Shai and his disciples are one. They are speaking the same word. Right? That's how Yahweh Shai and his father is one. He's speaking the same word as his father. Eh? The father give him, him give us. Right? That is the harder how things are set up. Right? Well, let me just go into some scripture for sure the difference here. Yeah? Um, um, Hebrews. Hebrews 12 verse 2 this is Hebrews 12 verse 2 it says looking unto Yahweh Shai the author and the finisher of our faith who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross despising the shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God now you have the most said upon him throne here yeah? because he's a king Right, he's the most high, and who is set at his right hand? His son, Yahweh Shai. Right now, aren't that two person right there? The most high sitting on and sitting on his throne, and the, the his son sitting beside him on his right. <laughs> oh, people don't see these things yet. Yeah? Let me just go to another one. This one is Daniel seven verse thirteen. I saw in the night vision and behold one like unto the son of man. Who's who's the son of man? Who's called the son of man in the scriptures? Yahweh Shai, the man you ignorantly called Jesus Christ, came with the clothes of heaven. And came to the Asians of days. Who's the, the, the Asians of days? Yeah? The Mosai. The Asians of days is the Mosai. So the Son of Man come to the Mosai. Yeah? No, that's two different persons. Two different spirits. Yeah? But one spirit. 
right? Just like oh, um, um, Peter got to John, a hey, two different person, two different spirit, but one spirit because I'm speak the same thing, right? Same way, Yahweh Shai got to him father, they're not the same person, right? Jump at another scripture real quick because hey, we're gonna wrap up and now make this thing long and drying out. Right? Because the point is already made. Right? Just driving it home a, a bit. Uh, this is Proverbs 30 verse 4. It said, Who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fist? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? what established all the ends of the world what is his name and what is his son's name if thou canst tell so what is his name and his son's name two person two different person right so hey that is it right hope this video was edifying to the elect right and the elect sisters right so let us just finish with saying all praises and glory and power and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yashai Bashim Raka Kodash the Blanas to the apostles of GMS and your brothers in the highways and byways doing the work of the most sense sincerity and in truth Shalom